So hello everyone in this video we are gonna look at the working of the open loop CEPIC and uh, then we have a look at the MATLAB Simulink model of the CEPIC. Uh, so let's finish off the introduction part in short. CEPIC is preferred to other type of power converters due to its efficiency and uh, we all know that it consists of four nonlinear elements, two inductors and two capacitors. So the working, we all know that CEPIC converter consists of a MOSFET switch. Um, when the duty cycle of the switch is 50 percent then the output is exactly equal to the input and um, when the duty cycle is greater than 50 percent then the circuit acts as a boost converter when the duty cycle is less than 50 percent then the circuit acts as a buck converter so moving on to the operation of the open loop CEPIC it mainly consists of two modes of operation one when the switch is closed and another when the switch is open so when the switch is closed When the switch is closed, energy is stored in the inductor L1, the current through it increases. The voltage drop across this inductor is equal to the input voltage as the diode D1 is in open position during this mode. Inductor L2 is charged by capacitor C1, capacitor C2 just discharges through the load thus giving an output. So mathematically, so the second mode of operation when the switch is open, when the switch is open, the diode D1 comes into play. The diode D1 conducts the input inductor current decreases charging C1. The current through the second inductor L2 decreases linearly to charge the capacitor C2 and provides the output to the load. Hence, an output exists at the load in both the cases. The equation in this mode of operations are the basic mathematical model or the basic simulink model. Is this. So let's simulate the model. So I've taken the input as 10 volts. The input inductor is 150 micro. R1 as 0 0.07 ohms. C as 100 micro farad. R2 as 0 0.008 ohms L1 as 150 micro Henry R3 as uh, 0.07 ohms C1 as 100 micro Farad R4 as 8 milli ohms R5 as 10 ohms so the pulse width that I'm going to take is a point for so the the duty cycle is exactly 50% so according to the theory the output must exactly be equal to the input so let's simulate the model and check so the input here is 10 volts so let's check the output So there is a ripple in the output voltage, uh, this is due to the charging and discharging that happens through the non-linear devices such as inductors and capacitors and there is also a current that is that gets varied due to the close and closing and opening of the diode. So this is the basic working of the open loop CEPIC. Closed loop CEPIC is more preferred to open loop circuit to do higher efficiency so let's look at this in another video